Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Thursday. Today we are starting the first in a series of sunscreen reviews that will culminate in my usual um, late May, early June sunscreen suggestions compilation video. Um, those specific suggestions are geared towards people with my skin type mostly um, because being an oily skinned girl, it is difficult to find an SPF that works. A lot of them do want to slide off my face. Um, I have found that personally, I do have the best luck with either zinc oxide or titanium dioxide, which would both be considered a mineral sunscreen. I do not have a problem with chemical sunscreens. I know a lot of people do. Um, but I find that just with my oiliness, the zinc oxide is actually probably the best. Um, when I do reapply, however, uh, when I'm outside working, um, I do, I, I am a florist and a lot of my clients during the summer get married outside and so it gets pretty sunny and warm here in Oregon so I do have to reapply and I actually, I use a chemical sunscreen to reapply. Um, I am still hooked on the Kate Somerville SPF 50 Uncomplicated SPF. This is a spray, which quite frankly is easier for me to reapply when I'm working outside. I can't be like, you know, sitting there. I, I don't have time for that. I need to shake this up and I need to hose my face down and any other <laughs> exposed areas and I got to get back to work. So um, I find that that really works best for me and that is a chemical sunscreen. It, I, it doesn't make me break out or anything like that, but I know there are people that have issues with chemical sunscreens. So. Today we are talking about the newest sunscreen from Biosance, and this is their Squalane and Zinc Sheer Mineral Sunscreen. This is a broad spectrum SPF 30 UVA and UVB sunscreen. Um, I did receive this particular product through the Octoly website, so I actually applied to Biosance to be able to review this. They sent it out for consideration, so I did not pay for this. However, all opinions are still my own. Octoly and Biosance don't require a positive review, and actually from from my particular skin type, I'm not going to be able to give this one the best review, which kind of breaks my heart because you guys know that I love Biosance as a brand. Actually, their Squalane oil is one of my favorite products on this planet. Um, I think that using a facial oil can actually help reduce your oiliness levels or it reduces your oil production rather. Um, so I love the Squalane oil and their uh, marine eye cream is kind of rocking my world and it's quickly becoming one of my holy grails as well. But I've also used their lactic acid treatment. I've, I've used quite a few things from Biosance and as a skincare brand overall, love them. They're fantastic. However, this product right here is, it's, it's not for me. Um, before we do get into this, I want to very quickly share the amount of sunscreen that you should actually be using because I think sometimes people don't use the proper amount. So there are people that say use a third of a teaspoon. There are people that say use two finger lengths. So, and by finger lengths, they mean your index finger and your middle finger. Those are usually the longest fingers. So, um, you know, put the stripes on here and then that is what you use on your face. Um, if you are also protecting your neck, which please protect all of the exposed areas. That includes your ears, that includes the back of your neck, um, hands, just the areas that I think most frequently are forgotten are those particular ones, so make sure. Obviously, uh, it, the amount that you use <laughs> may vary based on the size of your face. Um, I, I wouldn't use quite a third of a teaspoon on Stella's face, um, but I, I have an, a large gourd. I'm also an adult, she's a child, so for her we use just a little bit less, but. It's a lot. When you are rubbing that amount in, it's going to seem like that you're working on it forever. That's what you're supposed to be doing. Really work that into the skin, allow it to settle into the skin before you go over top with your makeup, whether it's liquid or powder or anything like that. You do not want to go in right away and start putting things on top of the sunscreen. Let it settle for at least 15 minutes, um, at the very least 15 minutes, but if you can give it 20 to 30 minutes, that's even better. Um, it just is gonna provide you the best possible protection. Um, so let's get back to this. Okay, 
I was so excited for this. And um, I started reading some of the reviews, which by the way, I would definitely encourage you to check out as well, because I think there are other oily skinned girls like me who, who had the same experience with this particular sunscreen. So this is, I would not recommend this for oily skinned people. However, if you are combination, if you are dry, even if you're sensitive, I think you should check this out, especially if you have dry skin. This is one of the most hydrating sunscreens that I have ever used. And it's just, it's way too much hydration for the daytime for me. I don't mind um, hydrating the heck out of my skin at night. In fact, I frequently use the Biosan Squalane Oil. I use um, moisturizers that are oftentimes designed for a drier skin type because I don't mind um, putting in that extra moisture at night when I'm going to bed, but during the day it does mess with my makeup. And so during the day I prefer a lighter moisturizer during the day, preferably even just a serum that'll do me. And then, you know, whatever SPF I'm using goes over top of that. So, um, let's read a little bit about this and then I'm going to tell you guys about the wear time that I got out of this. Um, I, this is not a bad sunscreen, you guys. It's not a bad sunscreen at all. In fact, I think if you have the opposite skin type of me, you're gonna love this. So don't discount it just because it didn't work for my oily skin. So they say that this is a super sheer 100% non-nano zinc SPF 30 sunscreen that protects and hydrates even the most sensitive skin. So they claim that even sensitive skins can use this. I don't have sensitive skin. In fact, I would put my skin in the super tough, like, probably rhino hide category. I have the skin of a rhinoceros, I, I swear. Like nothing bothers my face, <laughs> nothing. Um, they, uh, they say that the texture of this is supposed to be a lightweight lotion and I'll show you guys the texture here in a minute. So their highlighted ingredients here are the zinc oxide, which is a 14%, which provides a protective outer barrier to reflect UVA and UVB rays. There's also water lily in here, which helps to cool and calm the skin. Um, there's also the sugarcane derived squalane, which Biosance is kind of famous for. This helps the sunscreen to glide effortlessly onto the skin while weightlessly locking in uh, long lasting moisture. It is this very hydrating sunscreen. I know a lot of you sometimes complain about not being able to use mineral sunscreens because they dry you out. If this dried you out, I would be shocked. Like, I would absolutely be shocked. Um, so uh, this is, by the way, a reef safe F SPF. Um, it's the brand is cruelty free, recycled packaging, all that kind of good stuff. Um, so, all right, let's let's talk about my experience with this. I've been testing this for the last like week and a half, I think. I'm going to show you guys the texture. It is a very nice lightweight lotion. So there's a nice dollop for you. And um, it, this, I even have to like spread it out between both of my hands, otherwise it's gonna take me forever to show you guys. Um, what I will say is I don't notice any white cast from this, but I don't know if that would be the case with a very dark skin type. Um, I'm pretty fair and pasty myself, um, but I, I took some pictures um, just a shine from my face is all I noticed in the pictures. No white cast. The shine was from the, the, just the hydration from this and my oily skin being like, Ooh, let's maybe put some oil on top of that and we'll see what we get. And it's, it's, it was just very shiny on my face. Um, this made my, um, makeup break up within a couple of hours of application. And I think that was just as a result, obviously, of the, um, the SPF, uh, the hydrating emollient ingredients in here, and then also my just normal oil production. It was just too much for during the day. And um, it broke up the most on my nose, and it, it literally slid down my face. So this didn't work for me. Um, where it actually works quite well for me and where I love this is on my neck. Um, I love this on my ears, the back of my neck. Um, also on my hands. I mean, this is totally something that I could see myself popping into my purse and like reapplying 
on my hands throughout the day so that I have the protection. Plus, I'm getting so much hydration. Like, I have really dry hands right now. I've been washing my hands a ton lately, just like everybody else. But it is making my skin very dry. But this, I mean, my hands are so soft right now. I wish I could, like, I wish we had, like, touch vision or whatever where you could reach through and just feel how soft the skin on my hand is. Um, I'm wearing it on my neck today. I don't feel like I have a white cast. Um, I didn't really bring my makeup down onto my neck today. Um, so it, it, here's the thing. I think this is actually a pretty good SPF. It's just not designed for those of us with oily skin. In terms of some other details I wanted to point out, um, this is uh, this does come in a couple different sizes, and there is also this really great kit on the Sephora website right now where you can get a decent sized sample of this. And then I think there's either one or two full size sunscreens in this kit as well, and then several sunscreens from some other brands. And the kit is quite frankly a, an amazing deal. And if you wanted to try this in several other sunscreens, um, to find your personal Holy Grail sunscreen, that kit from Sephora would be a great way to go. But if you already know that you're a Biosans fan and maybe you have either dry, sensitive, or combination skin, there's a couple different sizes of this for you. There, the 3.38 ounce is what they sent me, uh, but there's also a 1.7 ounce, which is $30. Um, if you want the larger size, um, that's going to be $42. And really, as I was reading through the reviews, it seemed like, um, by the way, that Sephora kit is called the Sun Safety Kit. I will link that down below as well as a direct link to this. Um, but uh, yeah, you guys, um, go read up some other people's reviews here. For the most part, those with dry skin are like, this thing's fantastic. <laughs> Those with oily skin have some struggles like I did. Um, so for me, am I gonna repurchase this after I'm done with this one? I don't think that I would repurchase this one just to use on my neck or anything like that. Um, I just, whatever sunscreen I'm using that normally works for me is what I bring down onto my neck and my ears and the back areas. And then I obviously have a body SPF as well. Um, so I don't know that I would continue to purchase this just for that specific area, but it, but it is very hydrating if you have dry skin. <laughs> this is the mineral SPF for you. If this dried you out, I would be, I mean, I would be shocked, like totally shocked. Um, so that being said, I think definitely a great try from Biosans to get something that would be great across the board, but I think there's just, there's too many hydrating ingredients in here. By the way, some of the other hydrating ingredients that you're getting in here besides the squalane are gonna be glycerin. Um, there is also uh, acacia. No, that's not what I'm, I'm where am I going? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, there's some lecithin in here, some alba flower extract. Um, again, Check out the ingredients down below to see if there's anything that would bug you. There's nothing in here that would set my radar off for those with sensitivities, but obviously, I mean, I didn't know that people who were celiacs couldn't use skincare that had yeast ingredients, but it makes sense. You obviously absorb things through your skin, so it makes sense to me now. But when someone pointed that out the other day, I was like, oh my gosh, that's right. <laughs> so always check the ingredients, guys. Anyway, um, for me, not gonna be a repurchase, but do check it out if you have dry skin or combination skin or quite frankly, sensitive skin even. Um, there's no scent to this. This doesn't even smell like SPF. You know how SPF oftentimes has like that kind of strong like sunscreen smell? Nothing. And there's also nothing in here to cover up the sunscreen smell at all. It just, it just, it literally smells like nothing. So if you are very anti-fragrance, there's no fragrance in this. So there you go. All right. Thank you to Biosans for sending that out. I'm sorry that I couldn't give it a better review for myself. However, um, got to be honest with you guys. So I'll put the links for everything in the description box down below. Let me know if you have any questions at all, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Toodaloo.